Hello, this is X Factor Legend Wagner, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Just J Club YouTube channel, home of the best Grand Theft Auto content. Yo, what's happening YouTube? Just checking. Welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Nakasaki Outlaw, which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, this vehicle is going to cost you $1.2 million. So that's very expensive for an off-road vehicle. But look at it, man. It looks awesome. It looks really cool, man. I love the way it looks from stock. Hopefully, we can do some nice customization to it. So, without any further ado, let's get on with it. In the armor, we're obviously going to grab the 100% body armor, as always. Then, we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes for the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. So, so far, not so good with the way of customization. We haven't had any sort of bumper change or anything like that. It's literally just been performance. Anyway, I've only had the armor brakes and engine so far, and then we go straight to the horn. Uh, we've got lights, which is the first sort of um, cosmetic customization that we can do. So we're going to grab the Xeon headlights. Then we're going to move on to the livery. We've got loads of options for liveries, obviously, because it is a brand new DLC vehicle. And nowadays, we get a shit ton of liveries on every single DLC vehicle we get. So we've got, obviously, camo. It's got to have camo. For some reason, I hate camo liveries. I, I don't really like liveries in general. Um, I don't mind the sticker bomb ones. They're pretty cool. The racing stripes are also a good option. Um, but things like this, I'm not a massive fan. Even though that actually looks really good with the black. You know, that's, that's quite nice. The camo livery isn't too bad. Um, but the colourful ones, I'm not a fan of. Um, the only reason I think that looks good is because obviously it's black and white. And the, the car at the moment is black. And I think that kind of goes well together but you know I, I'm still quite firm on not really liking camo liveries and there's not really much else to go with you know they're all kind of camo-ish <laughs> there's nothing crazy in there um, nothing is tickling my fancy so I think I'm just gonna stay none for the livery then we'll go go to the respray we'll go go primary color and this is changing not what I thought it was going to change, to be honest. I thought it was going to change the matte black colour. But it's not. It's uh, changing the matte grey colour that we had on there, which is all good, man. I think black's a good show. Gloss black for this, because I'm thinking for the secondary colour, as long as it changes now, the matte black that's on there. If we go classic, secondary. Oh, man, it changes the cage. Shit, man. I was hoping that it was going to change... You know, like the matte black plasticky looking colour that's on there. But it doesn't, it changes the cage. That's disappointing, man. That's really disappointing. So, in that case, we're going to leave that gloss black. Go back to the primary colour, go back to classic. And we're going to change this to maybe like a lime green. So, I did look at the lime green and I wasn't a massive fan of it. So, I thought I'd go down and uh, have a look at the blues. And this race and blue just stands out, man. I think that looks awesome. So, we're going to grab the race and blue. Next we've got the option of the transmission, obviously we'll grab the race transmission and the turbo tuning. For the wheels, they're not nothing spectacular, um, but on the previous off-road vehicles we were able to change the rims without the tyres changing. So obviously if you go into high end, the whole thing's going to change tyres and rims. But if we go into the, the off-road category, the stock tyres stay as they are, because if you remember, if you cast your memories back, the off-road tyres are usually like really bulbous, bobbly tyres and I think they're really ugly so it's really nice that Rockstar's given us the opportunity to keep um, the stock tyres but then change the rims, that's really good but in my opinion I think the whole setup from stock looks better than any of these aftermarket ones you know, and they're, they're bigger as well so um, I think I'm going to stay stock for the, for the wheels and obviously there isn't any windows, so we can't do the light smoke window tint. So we're going to pull out of this motherfucker and have a look at it in the daylight. And it just looks awesome, man. I think it's really, really nice looking um, for a buggy, that is. Um, I think the way Rockstar have designed it, I think it actually works really well. So acceleration actually feels really nice on this as well. Um, nothing, you know, super quick, nothing spectacular, but it's then also picking up really good speed. For an off-road vehicle, this is awesome, man. Um, I think it could even rival some sports cars maybe 
but it's, it feels like it's actually hitting a limiter as I'm the more and more I'm going in a straight line it feels like it's plateaued a little bit in in its speed the acceleration felt pretty solid the the then the speed actually felt like it was picking up really nicely and then all of a sudden it hits a plateau and it, then it sort of like just stops and it sort of like just drags along is one of a better word to use um, but it still feels good man it feels like Mm, it doesn't really want to go around corners very well, but yeah, it's like it, it's not very tight in the turns, I suppose. It's not too bad. I mean, I've, I've driven worse, I think, but um, to handle, it actually feels really solid and planted, which is nice, especially for an off-road buggy. You want it to be planted. You don't want it to be um, spinning out all over the shop. But yeah, it feels a quality vehicle. I'm actually really impressed with it. An off-road vehicle in GTA. Um, they're getting better and better, man. And uh, this is definitely one of the best of them. But whether it's worth like over a million dollars is another matter. I'm not 100% sure whether it's actually going to be worth that sort of money. But it's definitely worth a, worth a punt if you're uh, into your off-road races. Because I think this is definitely going to be one to uh, look out for. And um, I think it's going to be one of the best in the category. Uh, but with that being said guys, I thought I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time guys, I'm out. Adios.